Hey Google, what time is it? It's 4.11pm. It's 4.11pm and I haven't filmed anything today. So, I think I'm going to go out to Asda. See if I can get some vegan bacon. And something else nice for dinner. Um, then we're going to come back show you my advents and do some knitting. So I hope that you enjoyed looking at some of the Christmas lights. There weren't as many as I was expecting there to be. Um, but I hadn't seen the town centre ones yet because I don't really go into town. Being 
clinically vulnerable. Um, so the only thing really that's left for me to do today, I didn't get any knitting done because obviously I left straight after I finished work um, and went out and I haven't done anything today. So I've got no ball to show you, but I'll show you what I got in my advents anyway. Okay, let's see, where should we start? The first one is um, from Nora George. You know the drill by now. I will put the name of the colour. Um, I'll put the name of the colour below. It's a little bit Christmassy. Um, next we'll do needle and thread. Now this was a bit of a bulk from the blue. I was expecting something along the lines of either green or orange, given what the last one was. But I still love it, it's really pretty. Um, and it's like blue, white and red. And the red in some places it goes a bit sort of rusty. I feel like this might be BFL because it's got a lovely sheen to it. Next was um, Dalton Borderlessers and I really I really like this colour. It's sort of like a sagey green. I would love um, a jumper in this colour. It's such a lovely colour and it's like it'll carry you through from autumn to spring. Lovely. Oh, and I forgot to mention that today with my Nora Georgian's calendar, I got a little um, notions tin and inside it are a lot of lovely shiny stitch markers. There we go. Um, yeah, lovely. And you can never have too many because mine, I don't know where they go, but they, they're like socks in the washing machine. Um, I don't know where any of the stitch markers that I own are at any one time, so always love to receive them. And then finally, for yarn, is a Jameson's, and this is just a pure white, which is lovely. It's going to pick out some things in the colour work nicely. And then the tea for today was lemongrass and ginger and it says with a hint of zest and a whole lot of spicy bright lemongrass this brew smacks you sideways with a refreshing sensation that's as vibrant as it is engaging pucker up um perfect on its own or with a drizzle of honey mm, honey and lemon yeah so that was the calendars for today also made um, dinner tonight and it was a first for us because Ryan's vegan now um, and I made a vegan carbonara and some vegan garlic bread because apparently vegan garlic bread doesn't exist in the supermarket that I went to so I had to buy some vegan butter um, and make the garlic butter myself and then I bought a some of those part baked baguettes and part cooked them, then sliced them, buttered them, put them back in the oven again. Um, for the carbonara, we I used um, a jar of Sackler vegan cheese sauce, which was really nice. It smelled really cheesy when I was cooking it up, which I was worried about because sometimes vegan cheese can taste a bit like fake for want of a better word um but this one it it was nice and subtle i didn't have tagliatelle so i used the linguine um what else oh yeah we i got bacon um this is not bacon from this the company is called this um and it's amazing it's the best fake bacon i've ever tried um so give it a go if you don't eat meat or if you do eat meat and you want to cut down or 
specific areas it's nice so I fried some of that off and then cook, cooked the pasta and I added peas I don't know why bulk it out of it I suppose um, and I don't like mushrooms so we didn't use mushrooms sorry I just kicked the table <laughs> now you're shaking um, yeah I didn't add any mushrooms because I hate mushrooms because they remind me of slugs like if you could imagine what biting into a slug would feel like that's how I think biting into a mushroom feels so yeah I made dinner I'll pop a picture in here um so that you can see that um other than that pretty uneventful day I'm hoping to get a lot more stuff done tomorrow. My energy levels are depleting rapidly though. Um, and I'm meant to be going, we're meant to be going to this tree dressing ceremony on Sunday because I rebooked it, well, moved, moved the date last weekend, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel. And um, I've been told that it's gonna be very rainy this weekend. <laughs> Which is not necessarily the kind of weather that you want to be traipsing around a farm type site. <sighs> so yeah, that's it from me. Um, let me know in the comments what plans you've got for the weekend. How's your Christmas prep going? Are you making gifts? Are you buying gifts? Um, are you staying at home? Are you doing a Zoom Christmas? I'm interested. Just send me a little comment. Um, yeah. Bye.